I'm Jim Monroe. I'm the co-owner and founder of Horticulteur. I'm a trained horticulturalist with 35 years experience developing new and innovative flowers and vegetables in West Virginia. Let's turn your garden into a fashion runway that will have your family, friends, and neighbors jealous all season. With our avant-garde annuals, culinary couture, and an abundance of trace chic live plants. Fashionable, sophisticated, and easy to grow. These stunning annuals and edibles burst with vibrant colors and shades that you've never seen before. Add a designer wardrobe to your garden with Hort Couture. High fashion, live plants. Present these earlier in the season. Uh, these are called Crazy Tunias, and these are a petunia plant collection that's absolutely gorgeous. These are great for spilling out of baskets and planters and window boxes. You can put them in the ground as well. Uh, more than um, a super long trailing petunia, I mean, they will trail a little bit, uh, but these are petunias that give you a mounding effect so you don't see that loose leggy look. These are also what we call self pinching so you don't have to go along and deadhead these all the time. You're always going to see a plethora of new blooms. So what you're going to get is a six piece set. This is your shipping sample right here. So they're nice big pots and ready to go. They're going to grow really, really quickly. These are an annual. So obviously these are going to get to their full size this summer season. So you're not going to have to wait to see the big bang. You're going to get it this year. So you're going to get three beautiful varieties. Um, and two of each one. So you're getting the orange slice. I'm not sure which one's which, so I apologize. I'm just going to actually show um, the different ones. So this one is, these are the real blooms too. This is a purple one with a green trim on the leaves. And I believe that's the Kermit purple. Oh, there's a picture of it. There you go. And then we also have one that is this gorgeous pink and white kind of a striped effect. And this one has kind of what we call a, a, a scalloped edge to it. This is called pink adelic. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like a bright pinwheel. And then you're also going to get the third one that you're going to get is also kind of a deep plum and green color. And this one is more of a striped effect on the green. So rather than having the green around the edges, as you saw in that, uh, Ker that Kermit one, uh, this one is more of a uh, uh, striped and we call it blackberry mojito and that one also gives you a bright vivid uh, pink and green or purpley pink and green effect so these are different than the petunias that you're going to see at the local garden shop i know there's petunias all over the place and they're popular because they're easy to grow and they're one of the most popular annuals but often they do start to get scraggly looking uh, they end up with flowers only on the very end and you've got these long scraggly branches and, or stems, I should say, and in this case, you've got this nice thick mound of greenery and lots of flowers. So let me bring in my friend Jim, who is live from his home. Hey. Are you are you there down at the Greenbrier somewhere in West Virginia, Jim, right now? I'm actually down the road from QVC at a friend of mine's house in Westchester. Oh, okay, so I didn't know how far away you were, but it's nice to have you on Skype either way. Welcome to the show, Jim Monroe. How are you? I'm very good. I'm just really excited for the day. We've been working for so long to get to this first show, and here we are. And yeah. um, so many people are outside their homes gardening and, mm -hmm. and experiencing the creativity and the exercise and yep. the, you know, the sense of accomplishment that you get from gardening. And our company spent the last 10 years trying to make this easier for people. and and make gardening less intimidating. So this is really a, a great day for us. Well, we're excited. The, we went through the whole lineup of the show. There's a lot of cool new things coming up, but this is a, a returning favorite that we showed earlier in the season. And I've, I've been trying to do not as well as you, but I've been trying to, to do a, a, a little a story about why these petunias are more special, Jim, than what we would find out there at retail. Yeah, the crazy tunias are, are something that's really fantastic. They're the, the colors and the flowers and the striping in the flowers is something from classic breeding that makes them so unique. And the fact that they're just, they're not unruly petunias. They stay so compact and, and grow so nice. And they're just also just easy. Mm -hmm. um, so many petunias are difficult um, and they get scraggly and they get me cut back in the summer. And yeah. this really doesn't happen with these genetics. Yeah, they're beautiful. And you were telling me that they're very heat tolerant. 
so I don't have to worry about uh, constantly watering them. I mean, it's, of course, they need to be watered, but these are a heat tolerant plant. And sometimes, you know, by the time it's the 4th of July, things are starting to get a little wilty looking in a, a lot of our gardens, right? Yeah, um, the crazy tunias have been um, in very successful in trials at the University of Georgia, um, some really hot, humid areas of the country, and people are just going to love them. They really are. So these are self-pinching and heat tolerant, and you were telling me um, they trail, so they're great for pots um, and really do well in any kind of climate around the country. So anybody would be successful with these, right? Absolutely, and, and the flowers are just so different and electric and just... I can't even begin to tell people just how many people are going to come to their house and look at this petunia, these crazy petunias, and just say, man, I've never seen anything like that before. That's yeah. really what they do. So you get the, the one with the, the purple with the green edges. That's the, the Kermit. Correct. That's a Kermit purple. Kermit purple. And then Pinkadelic is kind of like a pinwheel of, of white and bright fuchsia pink. Correct. I've got a, actually a plant here with me, too. Yep. And then the third version is the uh, the pur is it called purple mosaic? It's a black mojito. Black mojito. Blackberry mojito. That blackberry yeah. mojito. Sorry about that. So that one is. And it's such a unique flower. Um, just something that's there's just never been anything like this in petunias. And so many people love petunias because they're just so you know they bring butterflies and and hummingbirds into their yeah. into their patio areas and. They provide so much color, and there's just never been anything like these. Aren't these gorgeous? And these are the real flowers. These are not fakes. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you're going to see this absolutely. this year because these are, are an annual that are going to get to their full size the first season. So we're going to wrap up on this one, Jim. I want to remind everybody else that uh, these are a special sale price that's going up at the end of the day on our Petunia collection and 400 sets ordered at five payments of $742. Okay, if you are a butterfly fan, and who isn't, I know a lot of you have been concerned about stories in the news that uh, monarch butterflies are quickly disappearing from the planet. In the late 80s, uh, those that do things like count the butterflies counted uh, between four and five million monarchs. And here we are now in the mid-2020 uh, you know, uh, with only about 30,000 of them left. So they have dwindled dramatically. And the problem is, as Jim was explaining to me, is when they travel up from Mexico to Canada um, and back down again in the fall, all often they die because they starve to death and they can't find their food source because monarch butterflies only love the butterfly weed plant. So this is one called Monarch Promise. You're getting a three piece set. This is something that will draw those monarchs and other butterflies too to your yard like a magnet as soon as they know it's there because they love it. And this one is absolutely gorgeous with those uh, variegated leaves. It's a beautiful plant. So five payments of $747 with free shipping and handling. Jim, tell us all about these. Yeah, we've lost about 80% of the butterfly, monarch butterfly population in North America. Mm -hmm. It's tragic. Yeah. And so, so many groups and people and, and home gardeners are making an effort to try to plant Asclepius or the butterfly weed, which is mm -hmm. the um, food nectar source for the monarch. Yeah. And most of what's being planted is the indigenous varieties that are native to the eastern United States. And they're wonderful for helping with this, but they only bloom for a very small window of time. And mm -hmm. this is a tropical variety of the Asclepius or the, or the butterfly weed. And this plant just blooms and blooms and blooms. I compare it to how much a lantana blooms. If you're, if a lot of people are watching or yeah. gardeners know how great that plant does in the mm -hmm. in the heat of the summer, and, mm -hmm. and that's what you get with this plant. So, you know, it's so important that we create nectar sources for these. And and not only are you doing something that's really helping the monarchs, but just bringing those monarchs into your garden and and for your children or grandchildren to tell them the story and yeah. and for them to see what a beautiful creature it is. This plant just does so much and it's super easy to grow. I mean, that's what we want to really talk about today is just Orcatura varieties are just easy to grow. This uh, is different than any other Asclepius plant that we're offering on QVC this season. All of the other ones that you may see are the uh, native plants, which don't have as many flowers. They're more of a perennial. This is an annual, it's a tropical. So if you live someplace where it's always hot and warm, this will be an annual plant for you. But for most people, this is going to be um, 
uh, an annual plant that gives its all this summer. You're going to get tons and tons and tons more blooms than you would on the perennial version of the native version. And that's why we think this one is really, really special. Also, I love the um, the color of the, the greenery. The leaves on this is beautiful. Yeah, the, the variegated foliage is so beautiful and and literally you're going to get like 50 to 100 times more the, the amount of flowers on this plant compared to the native types. It, it's a beautiful kind of a thriller for mixed containers to get it in the middle of the pot. There's just nothing like it. And it will get to its full size this season, which is about how big, Jim? Um, a plant of this is the plants that you're seeing on the on the screen right now are plants that are one year old. So okay. you're talking about a plant that the first summer, just a few weeks after you receive your little starter plants from QVC, is going to grow to that size in like four to six weeks. And here's what you're getting. Just so you see, they're really not that little. This is just one of them. You're getting one, two, and here's number three back here. So um, these are ready to go. They're going to get big in no time and bloom like crazy all summer long, giving lots of food to those butterflies. Um, and, you know, I, I guess if you wanted to, you could bring them in and, and keep them alive over the winter in the house. But uh, I think a lot of people consider this tropical version to be an annual and you'll just replant them next year. Is that right? Correct. I think um, they're gorgeous. The I love this plant. This is really actually one of my very favorite introductions that we've ever come up with. And, you know, if you're in Texas or Florida, California, this is going to be a great, like a 30 inch tall shrub for you in front of your, in your like a foundation type plant or okay. a, a border type plant. But just to grow it as an annual for what you're doing to help the monarch populations, to tell the story to your family about what the plight of the monarch Mm -hmm. It's just a wonderful product. I mean, it, it just gives them a great source of food and we're trying to bring them back. And this is a really, it's a good thing to do not only to make your garden pretty, but a good thing to do for the monarch butterflies. So I know that's why this has been so popular. Uh, Jim and I had these on at the Philadelphia Flower Show and a lot of people ordered them there. Um, this is something that uh, I think you'll be so pleased at the number of butterflies that you see. And if you're creating a butterfly garden with uh, other uh, uh plants that attract butterflies like your your uh, butterfly bushes, your buddleia plants, a lot of the other ones that you might see, the agastache. Um, this is a fabulous plant to put into that section of your garden. And one thing I'll say about this is compared to, you know, your agastache or your butterfly bushes or all mm -hmm. these things, the flower power of this plant, the number of flowers you're going to get through this first season, in the first season, is just incomparable. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of beautiful flowers and which is going to mean you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of butterflies and not just monarchs, but other varieties of All butterflies of and beautiful moths and things that will come to the plant. The thing about uh, monarchs is they're a little more picky about what they eat. Uh, other butterflies like a lot of different types of plants, but monarchs pretty much only like this. Is that right? It the is butterfly totally, it's like it's really kind of a proprietary nectar source for mm -hmm. monarch. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're offering these for us this year. Very popular. Five easy payments of $747 for a three-piece set. All right. So, Jim, we're going to talk about these wonderful tomatoes that you've brought us next. Uh, these are Hort Couture's six-piece Heart Smart patio tomato plants. Okay, so Jim, let's talk about these coleus plants. These are the Under the Sea collection, a six piece set. First day we've ever presented these. You're getting six easy payments of $764. Jim will explain why this is the most famous Hort Couture plant. And uh, it actually has an interesting story, which he'll share about how it was discovered. It's a patented variety. It's got six best sellers that Jim has put together for you in this set of coleus and you can plant these in the sun or the shade. These can go in the ground or in a container and these are some of the most colorful coleus you are ever going to see. So Jim come on in here and tell us all about this set. Absolutely. Um, under the sea coleus are really what Porcature has been known for in the marketplace, and I am so proud to bring these to QVC with this special collection that we have. Porcature is a company that wants to be make horticulture and gardening more stylish and 
and easier for people. And these coleus are paramount to that. I mean, these are so easy to grow. If you're out there and you think you're the worst gardener, <laughs> so many people tell me they have brown thumbs. This is the one you want to order because at the end of the season, you're going to be messaging me on Facebook saying, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing I ever grew. Yeah. Now, the, go under, ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Under the sea coleus are a, a really a wonderful story. Um, a professor contacted me from the University of Saskatchewan about eight years ago who was teaching undergrad students basic plant breeding in horticulture. And he said, we're finding these leaves that are like these anomalies that look like little and he started saying they look like sea creatures. They're uh -huh. like little leaflets on the ends of leaves. And so uh -huh. we we helped them to, to get this product to the marketplace. And like the one that you're showing right now is bonefish, which is such a unique leaf. And yeah. and they're they're all they all either look like little sea critters or coral or well, let me we show have some that are called um, sea monkeys. They're just all so cute and fun. And this is bulletproof. I mean, you can grow this with minimal care you can grow these in the sun in the shade in the good soil in the bad soil in the low light high light in the house outside the house under the car wherever you want to put these they're going to grow great uh, i was just showing that's it was a great close-up marianne thank you of the what you were talking about with the little leaflet on the end of the leaf and this yeah, is the, this is a set that has that on all the different varieties yeah the um i have a plant here with me of um of one that's called the um, king crab. Okay. And you can see that the leaf, there's the leaf, mm -hmm. and, and the, in the studio you have this variety too, but then there's all these little leaves on the edges of the leaves. It's just yeah. such an anomaly what happened in the breeding. And it's a wonderful story because all of the royalties that we collect can on these varieties go back to the University of Saskatchewan and buy supplies for the horticulture department and and help kids with scholarships and so many wonderful things. So this is just a great story. So this is what Jim, well, I'm showing a close up of the one on the set. See all the little leaves that popped out of the end of that leaf? Isn't this gorgeous? How cool is that? Oh my gosh. And look at all, let's do a close up, Marianne, wow. if we can, of all of these varieties. Look at this one, Jim, as we, can you see the picture that, that we have here on the screen? Um, yes, ma'am. So that big one you were just holding is, which one is that one, King Crab? That's, that's King Crab. Okay. Right. and then. I'm going to move down here to the one that's uh, green with these like, um, oh my gosh, the shape of these leaves. That's like the hot pink. That's red coral. That it does look like red coral. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, move it, so and then I'm going to move over here to the one that's got that deep eggplant colored uh, leaf with the green edges. Yeah, that's fish net, which is just a surreal variety. It's so beautiful and this looks it looks like a a velvet pillow almost. Oh it's my just gosh. so beautiful and has little leaflets, but that's fishnet. And then so beautiful. over here, because you guys are getting all of these and they're, they're just, look how big they get. This is an annual, so it gets this big this year. What's this one that's mostly lime green with a little bit of purple? Yeah, that's some um, gold anemone is okay. the name of that one. Gorgeous. And, and then, it is, it's a, it's a little more vigorous. It makes a, a little bit bigger plant, probably instead of 24 inches, closer to 30 inches. Okay. And then but up, the color is just so electric. Up here on the table, we have two more. So what, what the yeah, one that's um, kind of golden with the red in the center? This is copper coral. Okay. And then, and then next to that the one, one on is, the other side is, is, is bonefish is the other one. Okay. So these are going very quickly. Jason, how many of these are left? These are, we only have about 700 sets left. Uh, this is a really incredible set and you're getting all six. Let me just show you right here on the table, if I can, um, what you're going to get. So they come in this size. Jim, are they gonna be this size when they get them or will they be a little bit bigger? Those are a little bit baby size. They're okay. gonna be a little bigger than that. Okay, yeah. but you get all six of these and they get to how big this year? Most of these fries are gonna be anywhere from 18 to 24 inches in okay. the first year. And they, I, I just can't, I can't tell you just how easy these are going to be for people to grow. This is what Hort Couture is famous for, you guys. Don't miss out on these. And these can go in shade. These can go in sun. Um, any place I should not put these, Jim? Absolutely not. I would okay. say avoid the closet. Avoid the closet. Okay. I will <laughs> not put them in my closet. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Stay in the ordering process. Six easy payments of $764. For those, they are brand new today and very popular. Under the sea. Under the sea. Uh, oh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back.
Sport Couture creates art. We set and these obviously are edible to the max. And Jim, you were telling me that this is the first ever patio tomato that's shaped like a heart. Is that right? Caroline, this is a product that I'm just so excited to bring to QVC. <laughs> it's just um, the, the fruits really are like little hearts. It's called Heart Smart, and there's just never been anything like it. And, and we've been eating them here um, at my friend's house all morning, and they are just like sugar cubes. It's <laughs> one of the highest bricks sugar levels of any tomato I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful, and, and you'll see, you know, like in the with the pizza, if we can do some tight shots and maybe things to show. Yeah. Just when they're cut, how they, they make little hearts, and mm -hmm. it just gives can a you, totally different look to every Mary, little salad or garnish or things you want to do with cherry tomatoes. It's just like heaven. I'm really. just pointing this out for Marianne upstairs. See how, now, I, now I've messed it up. I just wanted to show you. It looks like a heart. Can you see the shape of that tomato? There we go. See how it's got a little point on the end? See those heart-shaped tomato slices? So that's what's so unique along with the ultra sweetness of this variety of tomatoes. Um, you were telling me um, they're also super juicy as, long as, as well as being super sweet, right, Jim? Absolutely. This, this was a, a very um, complicated breeding project to create that elongated droop at the bottom of the fruit to make it look like a heart. Mm -hmm. But in that, just the selection to come up with uh, the, the bricks level is sort of the, how you measure the sweetness of tomatoes. And this is a very high bricks level. But one of the other really wonderful things about HeartSmart is that so many tomato plants that we plant, they become so rangy and out of control. And this variety just stays compact it's only going to get about 30 inches tall. Mm -hmm. It just stays covered in fruit. Um, the plants we grew for QVC that are in the studio there really haven't had any special treatment at all. I've just been in a, a greenhouse trying to get them to look good for the through the winter. And mm -hmm. just amazing what the, the fruiting power that this thing has. All of the fruit that's on the table there and in the basket and hanging on the plants came off a three plant. Now, this is a tomato that is not the great big tall. Do I need to put this in a cage or stake it or anything not, like that? Not at all. So I just put this in, fact, in a pot, right? It's like it's going to make like a bush. So this could be in a hanging basket okay. even. Great. This could be in a, you know, in a container as a thriller in the middle of maybe an edible container. Okay. Um, in, the, in the ground, it won't require a lot of staking or tomato cages or anything like that. And it just blooms and blooms and blooms. Even the, the plants there in the studio are still blooming and producing more fruit. So all the little uh, yellow flowers that you initially see are going to turn into tomatoes. So at first you'll get beautiful yellow flowers and then just a ton of these little tomatoes. And I don't know if I'm going to walk over here, you guys, behind this plant for a second. Um, the, this is all real on here. So I want you to see that there's a little flower right here that I'm talking about. And then look at all these little baby tomatoes that are coming out. See how they're shaped like a heart with a little pointy end? And then those are going to turn into these red juicy tomatoes that you see in all these food items and hanging down here from the um, from the plant down here on the floor. Oh, that's a great shot. See their little hearts. I love it. And Jim, I'm just going to show real quick the what you're going to get. So everyone is going to get six of these plants and they're all ready to go. And I need to plant them um, two. Did you say two to a pot would be OK or should I put each one in a separate container? Oh no, I think you can do one. That is one plant that you're seeing there. In so that one pot. in this big pot. And what size of pot is this? Do you know? Can you guess? That's a two and a half inch pot. Oh, no, I mean up here. This, this oh, is one, this is one 16, plant. A 16 inch pot. And right? this is one. One in, one in a 16 inch. Okay, right? so like one per 16 inch pot. And again, right, uh, and you're going to get six plants. Yeah. So you're going to have. You a, get all of these. You're going to be in commercial production of Heart Smart Tomato with six plants. I think that's great. They also make a great gift, too. I love that. And for a lot of people who don't have a yard or don't want to mess with staking or caging or figuring out how to plant the tomatoes, this is a great way to grow your own vegetables right there on your patio or deck, along with all the little herbs and things that you might be growing as well. And you do get a ton of tomatoes on each one. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And the, and the, the plants we put in the studio there to kind of show the as ships are, you know, they're going to grow for, a, no one's going to get that this early. So the time we get to their shipping week, that's going to be a, a nicer yeah, plant. Yeah, than what these, are, the these are still baby they're, and they'll be bigger babies. by the time you get them. Right. Absolutely. But, but Heart Smart does three things. Just the uniqueness of the fruit is so amazing. 
just the fact that this is a, a an, not an unruly tomato at all. I mean, this plant stays compact and rounded and can be used so many different ways. And then add to that just that there's just the flower power and the fruiting power of it. I mean, with six plants, you're going to get gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of these beautiful tomatoes to share with your family and friends and and just really fantastic variety. Well, Something we're really proud of at Horka Tour. And I, I just would love to show the rest of the food on this table. Look at that salad, that tomato salad, and that's incorporating some of our uh, garnish pansies that we have coming up and some of our edible kale that's coming up as well. Um, looks absolutely delicious. Up here, here is a fabulous tomato soup. Um, so, you know, the possibilities are endless and you've, instead of going to the grocery store and getting those rather tasteless tomatoes that you often see, and this is going to be even sweeter than anything you would probably find at your local farmer's market, because as you said, these are one of the sweetest tomato varieties that are in existence. I think, uh, Jim, we ought to later, uh, when uh, things get back to normal, have one of these delicious Bloody Marys we have back here on the back of the table. I think we should have two. I think we should, yes, each. I like that, <laughs> especially with that big piece of bacon in there, yum. So uh, what a fantastic way to try growing tomatoes if you've never done it before, or try growing your own vegetables. And even if you've only got, even if you live in, a, in an apartment building where you've just got a, a little outdoor balcony, you can grow these tomatoes. Absolutely, I'm just so confident in our varieties, how successful people are gonna be. This is the hallmark of what working to work wants to be to gardening consumers, people tuning into QVC, is that they are so confident that they know that our varieties are really gonna excel for them in the garden and they're gonna become more confident and just love gardening and all the great things that that brings to their life. Well, we have over 900 ordered. These are very popular. Remember, you're getting a set of six and they grow just in a regular pot like this. You don't need to stake them or cage them or anything else. All right, so we're gonna move right into our next item, Jim. Hang on, we're gonna get reset here. Uh, time for one of the most popular, if not the most popular plants ever from Hort Couture. Hort Couture creates art with sophisticated outdoor and indoor living that will make your world even more beautiful. Hort Couture marries fashion and flowers. We control and manage the entire supply chain from breeding, seed and cutting production from all over the world. I want the experience with our plants to be easy, inspire and build confidence, and just simply be beautiful in your garden. Our flowers and edibles are completely unique, only found here at QVC in selected high-end nurseries across America. Add a designer wardrobe to your garden with Hort Couture, high fashion live plants the season when Jim first presented them with me because I thought these are outstanding. I love geraniums and often you see just the ho-hum varieties at your local garden center. Uh, these are specialty geraniums from Hort Couture and uh, we are offering them today on five easy payments of $8.54 and not a super ton of these to go around because as I said these have already been presented earlier this season and a lot of them have already been ordered. So these are annuals and these are going to go in your garden in containers they are great for your pots. Uh, these are mounding geraniums that are going to give you lots and lots of flowers. In fact, Jim, uh, remind me, when we first sold these, we talked about these, that um, you get the, the big geranium flowers that you typically see on one sort of geranium, and then you get this wonderful sort of trailing and mounding leaf that you typically see on another type of geranium, and you've kind of combined the two together. Is that right? That is right, and this is um, this is a breeding project that, again, this is what makes Hort Couture different, is that we are a company that's truly breeding new varieties and developing new products and, and a company that is developing a, a supply chain to, to bring these things to the marketplace, and Glitterati is, revolutionizes the geranium. Mm -hmm. So what you have is we started with the, the old heirloom varieties with the beautiful, funky, variegated leaves. Right. Um, the parentage then has parentage of the zonal geranium, which is what you mostly see at a garden center, which is that big double flower. Right. But it also has parentage of ivy geranium, which is the trailing geranium. So okay. you're getting a, a very um, low, um, easy to grow plant that doesn't break and, mm -hmm. and produces lots of flower buds. I love it. With, the, with, the, with this amazing foliage, which is just like a piece of art and the big double flowers in abundance. So there's just 
there's really nothing at all like what Glitterati does um, for people. And, and you're going to be so successful with this. I can just tell people that, again, back, this is what Horticulture is. We are bringing varieties to QVC that we want you to be so successful. And I want everybody to love gardening as much as I do. Look at these gorgeous leaves. Can I just tell you, I've never seen a geranium. That's why I ordered two sets of these. I'm going to put these in a lot of my pots. These leaves are outstanding. And then when you get, this is your shipping sample. It's already got blooms on it. You're going to get uh, gorgeous blooms of reds and pinks. And then these variegated leaves are incredible. This, this is the heirloom aspect of this plant, those leaves, which you don't usually see anymore, then you've got big, um, and, and obviously we can't force them to grow this quickly. Um, they're, they're trying. We've got some that are almost ready to come out, but we've put uh, facsimiles of how big these flowers are going to get on the, um, in fact, let me just show you. I'm going to, Marianne, can you see, can you see what I've got here? All right, so here we go. So this is a real one right here that's getting ready to bloom. You can see how big that's going to be that's just yeah, partially it. popped out there so you can see it's going to be like that when it starts blooming so you've got those gorgeous heirloom leaves and these big fat flowers all over the place but they also do a little bit of the trailing aspect too but jim they're not like the kind that look all scraggly we were saying that about the petunias earlier uh, they're more of a mounding big fluffy geranium plant right Right, the, the parentage that comes from ivy geranium or trailing geranium makes the plant a little flatter and not quite as tall and rangy as what you get with a with a normal double geranium that you'd buy at a garden center. Mm -hmm. You know, these would be beautiful if they never had a flower. Yes. And that's what that's what heirloom geraniums that have these foliages have always been. You see them in a garden center, but you, you can grow one for two years and never get a flower. Mm -hmm. These just are, they, they bloom, they have this beautiful form, and the foliage is just... It's like a piece of art. It really is. I mean, the ice queen there, that white foliage. This is, is ice queen. Like, just amazing. So you're going to get three just, ice queen, right, with the red flowers. Right. And then you're going to get three of the um, gold diva with, right. with the uh, yellow green leaves. And then they're trimmed with like a beautiful sort of a, like a taupey burgundy color. I mean, those yeah, are gorgeous. It, 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 it really is the back color between, and, it, and the leaves change over time. You can see the plants, they, they, the leaves are constantly changing, but mm -hmm. I call it like a, a gold, gold with chocolate is what I describe it as. These are gorgeous. Well, over 600 of these ordered, and again, you're getting three of each variety, and these are annuals, so they will get to their full size this summer. Put them in your favorite pot. Have them spill down a terraced garden. They'll look gorgeous there as well. Um, you're getting the red flowers on the green and white leaves, and you're getting the bright uh, corally pink flowers on the green and burgundy leaves. So pretty. All right, those are our glitterati geraniums. And we're going to uh, show you, for the last part of the show, this beautiful zebra primrose. All right, so this is a brand new plant. I've never even heard of this before, and it's stunning. Okay, so uh, this is what we call can handle the cold, and um, they're just pretty. But these are a different type of pansy, everybody. These are a six-piece garnish pansy plant collection. These are used for garnishes in salads, entrees, and desserts. You're getting six of them in a variety of colors. Um, and Jim is going to explain, this was an eight-year development project for Hort Couture, which developed these very unique winter-hardy varieties that are really big blooms. They are both cold and heat tolerant. And the flavor on the pansy is not in the petals, as Jim will tell you, but on that green part in the back. And that's all technical, so Jim's the one to tell you about that. But let me show you right here what you're getting. You're going to get six of these plants, these pansy plants that are probably already going to be blooming like so when you get them. Uh, these are something you can plant right away, and you're going to have an endless uh, possibility of using these uh, to pick and use as your food garnish. So you'll get purples and pinks and whites and the little pretty little purple faces on them. Uh, Jim, come on in here. I'm going to head over here and tell us all about these. Absolutely. This is, again, just such a, a great thing that we call our vegetable breeding um, culinary couture, and mm -hmm. that's kind of the sub-brand that our tomatoes and the kale and, and and these edible pansies are under. And 
this was a very long, arduous breeding project. And these really have all of the wonderful characteristics you think about with pansies. Big flowers um, bloom at such unique times of the year. We'll take, you know, everything from pretty cold temperatures to pretty hot temperatures. And on top of that, these taste delicious. And the trick to these is that the, the, the petals have is not where the flavor is. Right. The petals are where the beauty is. But I'm on the back of the flower, if you'll flip one over, is Here a little go. green nodule that holds little... the flower onto the stem. The green part, right and there. Right there, that little piece right there. And that is packed with flavor that on these varieties, and you're gonna get a mix of colors in, in, the, in your assortment that you order. But they range anywhere from tasting like bubble gum, the black pepper, and somewhere in between. Oh, so I they're, love it. They're, yeah, so they're really delicious. Um, like I said, I've, I eat them all the time when I walk into the greenhouses and, <laughs> and I'm always amazed at how different they taste. And I've kind of acquired like this ability to sort of discern the taste of the different colors a little bit. Okay. But, it's, but this is so fun because so many people are foodies now. You know, everybody loves to take a picture of their food and put it mm -hmm. on Instagram or, mm -hmm. or snap it to their friends or whatever they're doing with it. And this is just such an easy way to make everything that you make absolutely gorgeous, really. Yeah, I, I, we, love, I the, love I love it. I love how we've done, uh, Bonnie's done such a great job today with all the food styling. But um, again, taking a look at uh, just a, a cheese tray uh, up here, or there's some beautiful brie that you're seeing right there. Um, here's a dessert platter. Um, and then up here, you can see how not only is it a lovely garnish, but they're edible. And so they really do add so much to the presentation of your food. We've also got a little bit of our uh, kale up here as well, which is fantastic. So um, again, Jim, if I, if I don't want to pick them and eat them, I can just have a beautiful pansy plant of lots of flowers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, these are as dependable of a pansy genetics as you're ever gonna find. Big flowers, mm -hmm. tolerant of pots or soil, different soils, different pHs of soil. But just the fact that you can do such a unique culinary thing with them, this makes this one of the most amazing horticulture products that there is. And I'm just so excited to bring this here. This truly is an exclusive product to QVC. You won't find this anywhere else in the United States anywhere at all. I think and these are fabulous. I love how big the flowers are and the fact that, you know, pansies are so winter hardy, you may end up finding that they just come back on their own every year, even though they're supposed to be an annual. Um, and these are edible. And remember the flavor ranging from bubble gum to black pepper is in that green part on the back of the flower petals. And what's that technically called, Jim? I think that's a called Corolla? The, like a, a Corolla, like an old Toyota. <laughs> I was in, my, my horticulture degree was about expired a, a few years ago, I think. <laughs> I love it. All right, thank you, Jim. Over 600 of these have been ordered. You're getting five EC payments of 492. Th thanks, everyone. This Don't is forget such a our HeartSmart uh, patio tomatoes, very popular. 1,700 of those ordered in the show. Called the Blue Zebra Flowering Primrose Plant. And we have a sale price on this for you today at just six payments of $4.60, and that is for a limited time. Um, this one is a primrose plant. It's gonna look really awesome with your pansies that we showed you earlier. Uh, Jim, I know this is a plant that likes not a lot of uh, hot, hot sun, so this would be good for an area that has morning sun or afternoon shade, is that correct? That's, that's exactly where you wanna grow this at, and blue zebra is just Occasionally, something comes across our world in Workador that the minute that you see it, you know you have something that is just beyond special. And Blue Zebra is that. This was um, the European um, Flower of the Year last year. Um, we are so excited to bring this to QVC. There's just, it's like a piece of, I, I go back to the same thing I said with the geranium, but it truly is like a piece of art. and. Primrose are such a special flower. This can, this is potentially perennial if you mm -hmm. can keep it in a cool, moist yeah. area in your garden. Okay. Um, if you, a lot of people just grow primrose for the season and then buy them again next year, but you can, you can really grow this as a perennial. It is just a flower that is almost 
indescribable in its beauty. I mean, just, it's really a white primrose that has this blue streaking through it and it's to die for. Really. Yeah, it's, it's really incredible. You are going to get um, six of these plants. Um, Jim, they, you said they're typically uh, an annual, but you can get them to be a perennial if you don't have them in a super hot place. So how big will these get this year? Um, the plants that we're shipping are really wonderful big plants. Yeah. It's probably going to get twice that size this year. Okay. And the so plants some, should, so you each know, one right will be about are, like this. I put correct. two together. These, so. these, are, okay. these are right from the plants that are going to ship. Okay. Um, All right. And, but this is, a, you know, primrose are going to get, you know, 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 or something like that. They're very easy to divide and have more plants. Okay. But the key, the key to this, if you want to maintain this in your garden, is like morning sun, no afternoon sun, okay. and moist areas in the garden. Okay. And it's just such a, it's such a beautiful, easy thing to grow, and you'll never have another flower like it. It's a, it's a blue purple color that. We're going to show the, any other flower that has the color. We have to show these stills because we don't have the the real flowers here. We can't right. force them. So I want to show this. These pictures you're looking at are the real flowers. Look at that flower. That looks like somebody painted that with like a little tiny paintbrush. That is just incredible with the little yellow center within the center of the yellow is like an orange little stripe. But then the petals turn into these blue heart shapes with all those lovely tiny little stripes of of uh, of blue on that white petal. Those are just outstanding. Yeah, and, and primrose has an interesting story. We see a lot of primrose like in grocery stores in the spring early. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason for that is that the story of primrose is that it's in in, um, in Europe in say in the late 1800s, giving primrose was a sign of prosperity and health. Okay. And if there's two things that we need in our world right now, <laughs> it's prosperity and health. That's true. And, um, mm -hmm. So this is just, it, it's a wonderful gift plant. You're getting six of these, you know, just think of six people that you really love that you'd like to, hey, to give one of these to and give mm -hmm. them, you know, and give them a, a, a piece of spring and a, and something beautiful that they can keep. And I, like I said, I just look at the stills of this and just so proud to bring this to QVC. You're not going to find this anywhere else. So proud of what our company brings here with, with such unique flowers and you're going to love this and it's super easy. It's and just, there's nothing to growing this. Jim, you were telling me too, if you keep them in that morning sun, no afternoon sun area in a moist soil that you will get blooms and blooms for months and months. Is that true? Absolutely. It, they will go a little bit dormant, um, like say in like maybe late July and August if mm -hmm. they get dried out at all. Okay. But if you can keep them out of hot afternoon sun, keep them, you know, well, you know, evenly moist soil, adding a lot of organic matter to the soil with this plant's really great. So things okay. like you know, manures and peat mosses and so, things like that. So it that holds to, on to the moisture. To, to build organic material mm -hmm. into the soil, mulching this with some kind of an organic, mm -hmm. not so much a hardwood mulch, but something like a peat moss or something would be really great for mm -hmm. it. Okay. But it's just, a, it's lovely is the best word to describe what blue zebra is. And they do just as well in pots. So you can put them in the ground um, and, and or in a pot. Um, and uh, again, this is how big they're going to end up, I'm showing you two of them, but by the time they are full grown, they're going to be about this size, so, like two of these. That's about right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So each one will be about this big, but you are going to get six of them. How, so I should plant these maybe what about six or eight inches apart? I, I would say probably more like 12 inches apart. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want some space in between, but I mean, just the fact that you will never see another bloom that looks like this white petals with those tiny blue stripes, perfect blue stripes and a yellow center. Um, typically primrose is what, like a pink or something a little bit more. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of yellows and yellow. and blues and pinks. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. But this one is totally different than anything that's ever existed. And I just know people are going to love it and the plants are getting, they're going to be so big and robust and healthy. They're going to just be. Isn't so excited pretty? to get this and oh my gosh yeah it's just um, it's such a beautiful thing and these are popular we have 1500 ordered um 
Don't dilly dally if you want these. Uh, this is something that you could get quicker if you use QVC.com or your app to place your order. I just think, you know, uh, the reason we shop with Hort Couture is because you are getting these beautiful, unique, different varieties that have been developed over uh, years and years of breeding so that they come out looking so incredibly unique but still so easy to grow. So why would you just want a yellow primrose when this one is just as easy to grow and you get more flowers and look what color they are. This, um, this is what we're going to do is we are high fashion plant. That's mm -hmm. the name of the show. And mm -hmm. I think this variety really shows what makes us different. And Caroline, I just want to also say it's been so wonderful to have you involved in this today, your knowledge and, and energy. Oh my goodness. You know, just perfect. Thank for, you, Jim. Well, we've become fast friends and uh, the fact that um, my dad's from West Virginia and so are you. And we've been swapping stories about the Greenbrier. <laughs> so yeah, it's we're, been we're it's been really nice to get to know you this season, Jim. You and I are going to play some golf this summer. Yes, and, we well, and, I'm, um, I'm, oh, you're going to teach talk me about something. New flowers for next year. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, uh, we have about a minute or so left on these. If you're just tuning in, uh, this is a brand new, fabulous, uh, award winning variety of primrose called Blue Zebra. It did win the big European flower award last year, Jim. Is that correct? It is. Yeah, that's that's pretty prestigious. Um, you will not find these uh, anywhere else locally. Uh, this is something you can get just from Hort Couture at QVC. They are as easy to grow as any ordinary variety of primrose, except that you get these amazing blooms that have yellow centers, white petals that are, it's almost like you took a tiny little fine point, tiny paintbrush and painted these little stripes of blue over all of the petals and you're going to get tons and tons of blooms but Jim your tip is to keep them in a place that does not get any afternoon sun. Absolutely they this I think the whole thing with primroses is you just don't want them to the plant the plant to desiccate or dry out at all and as long as they stay soft and supple and fresh you're going to continue to bloom and be just one of the most special plants that you have. I mean a lot of people that watch QVC truly are people who love gardening and when they yeah. This is something they're going to really, you know, it's going to be like a prize. Yeah. It's something really special. Absolutely. Very special. Well, we have 2,000 ordered and a lot of people still on the lines. So please stay in the ordering process for your Blue Zebra Primrose plants. Jim, you take care. Uh, stay well. And thanks for joining us today via Skype. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show. And hopefully uh, we'll get you back here before too long. Okay? Thank you so much, and so so many thanks to everybody for watching today and for buying plants. We're very, very grateful. Thank you so much. You take care, my friend. Uh, you can go to QVC.com. You can find out all the shipping information from Hort Couture uh, and their wonderful uh, guarantee as well. You just type in your zip code on QVC.